Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go over something that seems to be a growing problem in America right now. You know, it's almost like when one disease ends, like the flu, then they crop up with a new one. I guess they just want to keep this going until they just can't no more. There has been a new species of tick found in the state of New Jersey. And the thing is, it is very attracted to humans. And there's already people reporting um, these ticks on them, sometimes multiple ticks. And it's just a matter of time before this species is all around the country because, you know, right now we are in a high travel season, which always begins in the spring, all the way through the fall. So it's going to travel in people's bags, on their clothes, on them. You know how it goes. This is unbelievable. But it's for what we can expect in the future. This is a story that came out in the New York Times. Tick and mosquito infections spreading rapidly, CDC finds. The number of people who get diseases transmitted by mosquito, tick, and flea bites has more than tripled in the United States in recent years, federal health officials reported on Tuesday. Since 2004, at least nine such diseases have been newly discovered and introduced in the United States. Okay, now we are in the time of much warmer weather here in the Northeast. So you're going to see many more cases cropping up, which is to be expected. Now, the thing is, they said these um, diseases that comes directly from these different bugs have reach ast astronomical levels in the United States. So now we already know about Zika, which cropped up strong in 2016. And we saw what happened. In fact, I was reading a story back then of a black young woman that went to, uh, she traveled, I think somewhere in I believe she went somewhere down in South America and came back and she had Zika. She said she literally could not move. It was almost like her body went into a frozen state and she needed help even standing in the shower. Somebody had to literally help her do everything from feeding herself to getting in the shower. She said, it just wipes all of the energy out of her for three straight weeks. That's the state she was in. And finally, she can move around, but she was still having some problems. So in many cases, there is no cure. Now, you know, for Zika, there is no cure at all. And there are no vaccines, not that I would take any, but there are none. So they, they're estimating that every year about 300,000 people get Lyme disease and other diagnoses that come directly from ticks, fleas, and mosquitoes. And it, there's only 35,000 people diagnosed, but a lot of times people will have symptoms and you know how they try to self-medicate so you don't really have a real true number. And they're also saying right here, more jet travel from the tropics means that previously obscure viruses such as dengue and Zika are moving longer distances rapidly in human blood. Um, and malaria, actually, you know, back during uh, biblical times, people got malaria, you know, that was one thing they did get. And now um, also yellow fever uh, thought to be, have reached the Americas on slave ships three centuries ago. Um, 
And then, of course, you know, they're just going into Southeast Asia, the different strains of viruses that comes out of there from uh, tick-borne diseases and stuff. So there's ways you can protect yourself and you're going to have to do it whether you like it or not. Now, one thing you should never do, if you get up in the morning and you like to have a banana with your breakfast, you don't want to go outside immediately after eating bananas because the mosquitoes can actually smell the bananas through your pores in your skin and you're actually going to attract them. And that's what you don't want to do. So you don't want to eat a banana and then go straight outside and not even for your children. You want to make sure you don't do that. Um, mosquito species, there are some that just like your leg and ankle area, all right? And those mosquitoes really go by the scent of the, you know, of a human, all right? So what do they, uh, what attracts them? Somebody that don't smell good, somebody that stinks. <laughs> if you go outside, you will attract a certain mosquito. And then there's other types of species of mosquitoes that like your head, neck, and arms. And they really go according to the carbon dioxide that's released from your mouth. So that's what they're attracted to. And then, of course, the size of the mosquito, that will vary. Now, there are some mosquitoes that really respond to your saliva, you know, and that, that will draw them to you and make them attach themselves to your skin. So how do you protect yourself? Well, there are some things that mosquitoes don't like. You can get some of the skin so soft. That really does help. I've used that. In fact, I got a bottle at my house right now that you can get from Avon. Um, you can also get peppermint. The scent of peppermint. Mosquitoes hate that scent. So what I do is in the summertime, I'll buy some lotion and I'll just put a few drops of the peppermint in the lotion and just apply that. And it does help, you know, I'm not saying I don't get any bites. I do get them, but usually it's very few, very few. You know, it's going to be rough in these last days. I wouldn't even doubt if some of these mosquitoes were engineered in a lab and unleashed in the public as soon as spring hit. You know, I wouldn't put nothing past this government at this point. I, I seriously wouldn't do that. But please protect yourself when you're out there, protect your family and do what you have to do to try to stay safe from all of these things that they're unleashing on us right now. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll leave the link to all of these articles in the description box. That way you can come out and look at them on your own. And if you have an Android device, please um, go out to the Google Play Store and get my app. You will see the link to it in the comment section. Peace, family.